Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity, the White March. Me, Chris Knight, as we investigate yeah. Durgan's Fords, where the dwarves seem to have hacked themselves to pieces quite readily. I wonder why that is. Lead the way. Will do. So Just gonna, say the I word. I definitely saw something moving in this Not room. Problem. From what I can tell, it's like this. There's basically like the head Honso, the head of their military and the head of their like merchant okay. guild are all basically fighting each other. Keep an eye out. Yes. Okay. Ah. Not a sound. Something over there. I had a feeling that that was gonna be a trap. Disarmed it. Table seals and collapsed stone have been piled up to form a barricade. It almost looks like they've that they've basically Hi. killed each other. Or they, we know that they killed each other, but even so, like this is like some Lord of the Rings stuff. I wonder if like the forge is cursed. Oh, that's a lot of people. Ready, three, two, one. So these are the like possessed battery priest. Okay. You take him. You get up here, you get up here. You cast heal on the group. Knock him off his feet, I don't want him to get anything off. Okay. Hit. 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 Uh, what can we give people? That spell off. Did that spell off. Do this. Right. Going to beat up on that one. Who was immune? Someone was immune to that damage type. Oh great, he's immune to that, is he? Uh, change out for the sword. Okay, you do that. You do that. You change out for that. Now we've got a priest in the back healing him as well. Okay. That has got to stop. Keep hitting it. You're still up, are you? Kill it. Kill it with fire. Ah, uh, it's a trap. I didn't see the trap there. Did not see the trap. Everyone heal up. It's like, shh, we got a stealth. I wonder if these get added to my my um data bank. It's like a Pedia. Beastry. That's not that. Battery guard. There we go. The faded dwarves of Durgan's battery remain a mystery to scholars for 200 years. What little was known indicated that the dwarves had been divided by a great disagreement amongst their command commandants. They locked the doors of the battery and never emerged again. These skeletons are the size of the dwarves and the armour they wear once of exact quality, much like the legendary Durgan steel. 
Unlike most skeletons, they fought in organized battle formations. Their skill and discipline is a better as battle makes them formidable foes, as does their sturdy armor. So basically, the dwarves slaughtered each other. From what we can we can see, immune to all kinds of effects. Yeah. So they basically just butchered each other for. Hey. I won't say no apparent reason, but it doesn't seem like. What? It doesn't seem like they had a particularly um, happy outcome to their schism. I wonder why. I have a feeling that maybe the and the fact that they're like still possessed even if you kill them, maybe the, the the maybe the forge is cursed. See now what the flame has shown us. Like I like maybe everything it produces, like maybe all the steel that comes out of this is is cursed, so that people get very just jealous of it, or maybe the dwarves just got really jealous. Another ice blight down there. We've got to survive, by any means necessary. We'll have blood in these halls before long. Oh, great. The statue of Ardern is molted and tarnished, but each bolt of it appears crafted and meticulously detailed. Okay. Arms Warden Morum. As you approach the door, a wave of essence ripples through the air. An ancient stone grinds and groans around you, and the woman's voice echoes from the hall. Stop right there. You must be some merchant come to speak with Zoltan. There's a pause in which the woman's raffle essence gathers like a storm cloud. On the other side of the door, the entire room creaks from the press of her presence. I can give advice if you wish, if this is not my first talking door. Our illustrious coin master may let you plunder our armory, but I've got other ideas for dealing with your lot. Her voice is sharp and loud, like a slamming of, of a door, and her words echo in the chamber, a, the ghost startle, startle and flints, glancing about in agitation. Turn and go before I show you how an arms warden deals with trespassers. I'm here for the famous weapons. A group called the Leaden Key seeking something something here. The ghost stirred, looking around and shivering, their eyes widen and glow as the light on you, as if nothing if they notice you for the first time, just as quickly they gaze away and seem to forget you once more, but now they seem alert, wary. Whoever you're searching for, I haven't seen them. And none get past me. Leave our halls. Go back to whatever land you hail from. Your halls are full of corpses, I need to know how you died. You waste your breath on hollow threats. There's a hiss, a grating noise, and the click of something slides into place on the other side of the door. I'll have you carved by Durgan Steel, wretch. Then we'll see what the other commandants have to say. The ghosts turn their heads and lock eyes with you, shrieking and howling. Here we go. Well, you do that one. Someone shoot that, please. Ah, uh, okay. So, first of all, get that out. We'll then do... No, that's not what we want. Do that. Hit her with that. It's, no, it's still alive. Okay. We need to do... What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Pillow of Fire will do for them. Okay. And 
then we'll do this. The pillar of faith. Pillars of the faithful. Highlight her as actually wait no, we just straight out attack her. Cease down. Everyone else focus on her. Is he dead? Just say the word. Got more soul essence. Uh, every single time, I need to be careful of traps. That goes down deeper into the fortress. And that was the commander that we just killed. Such a charming person. Okay, here we go. Sealed Guardian. Get up and support. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Smite that one. The ice spike we need to be worried about. I hate ice spikes. Focus on that. Focus on that. Get up here. Help people regenerate stamina. Okay, so we wiped out the ones here. It really does look like they just had like a massive, like as they say, a massive, a massive schism. From what I can tell. Just say the word. Traitors, cowards. So, but yeah, like, literally, they've, they've killed, they, like, ripped themselves apart fighting each other. Gauntlet of Passant, pas, Peasant, Peasant, Passant, Malay, Malay damage, Gauntlet's braces, other variety of benefits, okay. So, what's her current gauntlet? That's improved might, which is nice. 10% damage melee. I'm trying to remember what might does again. Well, if I take that off, I'll lose the benefit from that anyway, so. It's no use to me, just have her have it. Um, deflection. Deflection of defense used to assist melee and range attacks against characters that are not our area of effect. Deflection. That would drop hers quite a bit to take it off. Con and resolve. And his is spell defense. Yeah, that's not really useful to him, to be honest. So we can give him those. I mean, to, to be honest, I don't use light restore endurance enough, really. Um, I could do it that. That might be actually better for him. Man, he takes a penalty for having that on. Wow. Okay. Just say the word. What's this? Accepts no saber. Okay. Yes, they, the they've word. literally like ripped themselves apart like with a civil war. How long before the commandants come to blows? Did you see the look in Maroon's eye? 
Exandro had better watch his back. Okay, so there's a lot of infighting. It's just like, I swear, like, I, I bet the forge is cursed. Like, I bet it's cursed so that everything that comes out of it makes people super greedy about it. Gang up on this one, just kill it quickly. Just say the word. Yeah, I mean, let's look at all the dead dwarves and the armor lying about. So they've literally just ripped themselves apart with fort feuds. Zoltan's the only one with sense. Anyone who says otherwise is a fool. That sheet sold our steel and kept the coin himself. Maroon? She won't rest until our corpses decorate the halls. Bronze statue of Adian stands in over incense ash and rusted metal tokens. Yeah, so they've literally ripped themselves apart in fighting. We knew that was the case, to be honest. But this is pretty bad, even by their standards. I can do that. A simple test. A simple test. Yes. That settled. We picked Just it. Just say the word. He'll regret this. And what does the flame reveal? So this is the part of the armory. Uh, ouch, that hurt. Just say the word. I'll see what I can find. Took a nasty bit of a nasty hit, but we're okay. So we got the what's this? Bradgar's Barricade. Um, this heated shield where bears the Black Wolf of the Bradgrinder line, as well as the personal city of the shield's last bearer, Mac Magrum Bradgar. The renowned fighter Macrogrum Megrum had a reputation for practicality and his unity, and in his hands, his shield was as was much a weapon as his blade, Megrum. Megrun, sorry, Megrun had a particular fondness for taking on spellcasters for a seal could deflect his foe's arrows and spells against them, and a blow to the face from the barricade was usually enough to put an end to a further caster. While this, while their Urgrinder cousins went on a roll to the cold, on to rule the cold water region, Badger did not survive the war of defiance. Megrun himself perished in the Battle of Defiance Bay, and his seal passed into the hands of a series of noble masters before slipping from common. Recollection. So to do thrust of target bail on critical hit. Uh, minus accuracy, plus 10% range against reflection back against attacker. Okay. So let's compare him. I found first stunning of 50% well prone, to be honest. I mean, spell deflection is like nice. Just say the word. What's this armor rack? Guile of the divine we weave. Grants knockdown. Uh, is that it? Not being nasty, but do not remove any equipment from the army without permission from Arms Warden Murum or Captain Gregor. Gregor. Okay, so yeah, they've they've literally just gone grumpily. Gradoff, as you twist as you twist before as as if it twists before you your vision blurs and fades back. When it returns you find yourself on your knees, a shattered sword in your hand and a broken battered helm in front of you, your helm. You can feel blood pouring down the side of your face and now for, know for certain that you will never see out your left eye again. 
arrayed around you in, in the circle of, of warriors, some from your tribe, the rest from an enemy tribe. They watch the combat in silence. You've got to die here, old man. Your opponent is brass, but young and strong. You still think single combat was a good idea? You do. Last winter's famine took every toll on your tribe, and your warriors were in no shape to fend off an all-out attack from the enemies. Single combat was your tribe's only hope, but it's not. But not if you lose. Once again, the world stops. Memory trails awaiting your guidance. They pretend to pass out. You kneel over, surprisingly grabbed suit. Soon, distantly grabbing one of the broken horns of your helm, as you do, you lie with your eyes closed, listening to your opponent's approach, trusting in his arrogance to come within striking distance. Pathetic, you hear the crunch of the, of the other warrior's feet near your head, and in a flash you, flash, you strike, driving the horn upwards into your foe's unarmored groin. He howls in agony, but you keep striking again and again until he is silent. The enemy warriors snarl and shout when they see the champion fall, but soon leave your village peacefully, bound by the combat's result. Yes, yes, it's all coming back. My sister, my reign, for end. Oh, Gordoth looks at his own spectral form in a sad surprise in his eyes, watching it begin to fade. But I've only just seen it. There has been so little time to know what would make it at all. Farewell, Gradoff. He sighs. The wheel has no patience, it seems. I entrust my home to your care. You have lost all the things. You get the helmets. Farewell, my friend. You gain Grado's Caras. Plus three might. And if only I could wear helmets. So that sucks. Perception and resolve. Man, that's an ugly looking helmet. But the increased might and retaliation is really good. A simple test. It's locked, we can't get it open. Yeah. Okay, that's a shame. Ghosts are looming, lurking about, so let's keep going. Let's get this door open. Let's go. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, first off, pop that. Get the Wraith. Okay. You fight the Shade. Move up to here and cast a... I'm getting really sick of those guys. Hit that. You punch the shade. Um, fire off another magical energy blast. Ah, something popped. Are we unlocked? We unlocked um, Beastry Progress, battery sealed. Everyone else finish on killing this guy. Just say the word. So we wiped out the last defenders in this area. What's this? Spirit. Most of the crates and barrels are empty and several are overturned. It looks as if they were cleared out in a hurry. Oh, so they, they basically the barricaded themselves in other parts of the keep, I think, from the sounds of it. So it looks like they've basically gone into factions, barricaded them themselves, themselves in other parts of the keep, and have like just taken each other apart. Cloak of Minor Missile, Damage Ducks and Burn Shock, not bad. Bookcase, Bill of Sale. You unroll the scroll and see an inventory of weapons and armor, shields, swords, and breastplates and helmets. All are listed as sold to a Lucan of Dun Dunrid, the bill is signed by Co Commander Zoltan, coin master of Bergen's battery. Just say the word. Okay. 
so we've cleared out the feast hall, the armory, and that goes down to the mines. This these stairs take me up somewhere. I don't know where, but I'm going to go up before I go down. You must gather your party before venturing forth. She'll bring these walls down around us. Yeah, this looks bad. It looks the whole. It sort of looks like it has a whole token esque, almost like their their worst personality traits have been personified. We're on top of the battery, an upper section of the of an upper section of the side of the tower has crumbled, blocking the access within. Just say the word. Hands of mine accuracy, scroll of mid magical missile or magical barrage. Potion. Just say the word. There's no way for us to get across that way. We can't go this way. I mean look, they've had they had the cannonades. Cannonades, cannonades. So we can't get through here. I reckon my theory is that the forge just kill everything that comes out of it makes people it like brings out the worst of their traits. Overall, Commandant is very like isolate. His personality was very isolated, isolate or well, isolationist, um, and he didn't want people to like he didn't want people to um, leave the fortress. He wanted people to stay in the fortress. While the coin master was all about making money, um, and the Master of Arms was all about basic conquest and expansion, which seems to be like all of their like their 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 main character traits basically personified. Maybe the steel does it. Down into the mines. I mean, that could potentially be something that could be that like the the forge is corrupt. Send to blow the great hole. Continue past the mines. Just say the word. This isn't creepy at all. I'll see what's ahead. I mean, you can see that like there's dead dwarves all over the place. So they they fought all the way down here as well. We can't hold them up. Fall back. So basically they've been fighting. Heat ripples and rises. Something heavy broke through the railing and gouged chunks out of out of the bridge. Heat ripples and rises, okay. Let's do this. Okay. Battery siren. Let's take it to him, men. Don't let him disengage. Ah, they've got a whole host of them around here. But this is not good. Quickly to arms. Um, I need you to deal with those ones, please. And you can help fight them here. What are you doing? Get back here. Yes, they are in range. So please. Oh, you can't get them up on that pam pamphlet. Okay. Hit them, please. Nice. Oh, paralyzed. Oh, that's not great. Um, dominance and charm. I always hate the stupid paralyze ability. Right, okay. That's up. Ooh, she's taking a pounding. Um we'll go another fireball. And clear them out. 
that spectre is becoming a pain. Okay, so battery spectre. And then hit with that. How long are these guys holding? Everyone go for the ghost. Still up. Move up to support. We killed the siren. Quickly kill these guys off. Battery defenders of these guys, yeah. So just beat them down quickly and efficiently. Yeah. We can then check the corpses here. That was the siren's essence. Now battery defender. Potion of recovery. Every bone in this skeleton has been snapped in two or two or more places. So they basically kept fighting for like beyond physical word. reason, as if they were possessed. That's not creepy at all. So it looks like the siren took them over then, or maybe that was the. The, the siren was the ghost of their commander, perhaps, because he would have had like a commanding presence over them, like be able to make them obey her commands even beyond death, perhaps. But we will have to end it here for today, ladies, lords, and ladies. I've been calling tonight. This has been Pillars of Eternity: The White March. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Steam. Or can you leave a comment in the comment section? I'll get back in contact with you. And I shall see you all next time on the continued adventures of Gwen Ravenheart and Space Pig. Goodbye.